Essentially, that means recognising that you have the power and the ability to stand up for yourself, to get information that you need, to ask things that you need to ask, and to, um, you know, to have some power over how these consultations happen with you. And I think that's really important because I think as a young person, you know, chances are cancer might be the first time that you've really been thrown into the healthcare system. You know, before that you might have just had a routine, you know, check up at the GPs every so often and, you know, not much interaction. So I think it can be quite overwhelming and confusing suddenly dealing with all these, you know, doctors and professors and, you know, different healthcare professionals and knowing how to navigate that. Um, you know, without, within our youth cancer services, certainly, you know, it's our model of care that the young person is our patient. So even, even when you're under 18, you know, we still take the position that you're our patient and your voice is critical for us to listen to. So I think being able to advocate for yourself is to be able to recognise what it is that you're needing and wanting. So kind of taking a moment to go, how am I going with this? Is this, is how this is working? Is, is this good for me? Is it, you know, am I understanding the stuff that I need to understand? Am I getting the support that I need? Are things working the way I want them to? And then, you know, if there's things that you're needing that you're not getting, then figuring out what's, you know, what might help, or at least figuring out who's a good person who might be able to help you with that. So obviously, you know, you're not going to necessarily know all the answers of, of what's going to be the best support for you. And you might not even know what there is that we can offer you within the team at the hospital.